Hi everyone, this is DeFi Dad. Today I'm gonna to walk you through a really simple tutorial on how to maximize the yield being earned with a liquid staking version of Ether. So this is a strategy that I use uh, during bullish markets, bearish markets, or any other type of market because I'm already holding Ether. I'm earning rewards, in this case, 3.9% APY by holding a, a form of uh, staked Ether. Uh, but I'm also able then to use that staked Ether to uh, act as a liquidity provider, which means I'm, I'm a market maker. I own a portion of this pool that is made up of Steph and ETH, and I'm able to earn trading fees as others trade on Curve. Then I'm able to also earn rewards uh, that are being emitted by Curve and Lido just for being an LP. So that's the Curve token, CRV, as well as LDO, the Lido token, which they're uh, rewarding anyone who is a liquidity provider in this pool. Now, normally I would then go stake the LP on Convex Finance, which is another platform that helps to boost uh, Curve rewards. Uh, by pulling all of the different LPs in one place, and then uh, Convex as a platform votes in favor of those pools uh, to increase the emission of curve rewards to those pools, thus you know, enhancing the rewards that all of us are earning by being collective LPs. So with Convex, I'm also earning the CVX Convex token. Now, what I'm gonna do differently today is I'm gonna use a newer application. Instead of uh, staking it directly on Convex and earning uh, about 5.44% as of re this recording, instead, I'm gonna be able to earn closer to 8.16 APY. Uh, the reason for that is that uh, Convex, or Concentrator, is auto claiming some of the rewards that I would normally manually claim on Convex. So that is Curve, that is CVX, and that is LDO. And so those rewards, which this is just a, a graph of all the different types of tokens across different Curve LPs. So it's just CVX, Curve, and then LDO. Those rewards are being auto claimed periodically and then sold for CVX Curve, which is uh, a token that is pegged to the Curve token, uh, but it represents all of the Curve that is staked in Convex. And then that CVX Curve is staked and it's earning about 40% uh, APR as of this recording. So I I'm netting out about 10% APY and I'm doing that by you know, basically maximizing all of the yield that I'm earning and allowing it to auto compound uh, using this newer application concentrator. Before we get started, I just wanna disclose a few of these tokens that I already hold. This is not an endorsement or recommendation to hold them. I just wanna uh, be upfront about what I hold uh, in case I have any bias in talking about these different applications. So um, I clearly hold the staked ETH token by Lido. I'm exposed to Ether. I hold the Curve token. I've been using Curve since you know 2020. Um, I am a regular user of Convex, so I have earned uh, some of the CVX token, uh, but it's not a token that I trade. And then uh, lastly, I uh, have been a part of the Aladdin DAO, so I hold some of the ALD token, which is the team that uh, created Concentrator. I wasn't a part of this, but uh, there are other folks in the Aladdin DAO community which focuses on helping uh, others to understand different DeFi strategies uh, and providing uh, access to those different DeFi strategies. Also worth noting, all the usual risks in DeFi are present here. So there's smart contract risk in Curve, in Convex, and in Concentrator, and uh, all the other sorts of risks that I try to call out normally, especially holding a PEG token like CVX Curve, which is what uh, all of the rewards are being 
auto claimed and then sold into. That's a token that is pegged to the curve token. And so just worth noting that uh, peg tokens carry a risk of depegging. All right, so first step in this tutorial is I need to deposit either ETH or staked ETH by Lido into this curve pool. So I will link this. It's under curve.fi slash steth. Uh, if I go here and click on deposit, this is where I can deposit either token or both at once. What I normally do is I check to see which of the two tokens might earn me uh, what's referred to here as a bonus. So if either pool has less of the other token, in most cases, uh, you would receive a bonus uh, for, for depositing that token. So if I had a, you know, a lot more than 0.5 ETH that I'm going to deposit here, you know, if um, let's pretend I was gonna deposit 100 ETH, um, you know, I've got this bonus to you know, really make the most of, especially with a larger amount of, of money. Or I could check the other side of this and see what happens if I deposit Steph. So there's, there is uh, a need for more ETH here. So I am going to just deposit ETH. Now I'm not going to click deposit and stake engage. Uh, that is what I would do if I didn't use a tool like Convex or Concentrator. Uh, normally I would stake it to earn additional curve rewards, uh, including uh, the LDO Lido token. So in this case, I'm just gonna click deposit. So this is gonna be a single transaction because it's ether, not an ERC20 token like Steph. And I can check here what is the gas price. So I normally set the max priority fee somewhere between one and 1 1.5. So I'm just gonna lower this a little. Now in terms of the max fee, this is the max priority fee plus what's referred to as the base fee. Uh, I normally go and I check the Etherscan gas station. So let's go over here, hit refresh. So at the moment, based on gas prices over the last, let's expand this, over the last, uh, oops. Got to move my little photo. There we go. Um, I can see that gas prices have been hovering, what, around 50 guay down to as low as this 34, 35 guay. So I, I check what is the gas price here, and you can see it's showing that the base fee is 38 and the priority fee is one. The priority fee is kind of like a tip to uh, those that are uh, running um, the Ethereum software. So I'm going to choose a number that is higher than this, and I'm gonna go to here click edit on the gas fee. And I could wait for this to, to go down lower. Like I don't have to, you know, deposit at 42 guay. I mean, if I put it lower in this case, it's no problem. I'll just have to wait until the gas price drops back down to, let's say 40. So max fee is going to normally be higher than this. So I'll put this up to, uh, let's say 48, and then I'm gonna lower this just because it just saves a little bit of money. Um, so I hit save, and here we go. So I'm gonna pay this fee, um, which these are actually rather high gas prices compared to what it's been lately, where gas is down to about 20 guay. And then let's go ahead and hit confirm. And so once I have that LP, and there we go, the transaction's confirmed. Once I have that LP, I can now go deposit that uh, normally into Convex, but instead I'm gonna deposit it into Concentrator. So just a quick review of Convex before I move over to Concentrator, because uh, 
Convex offers like, I don't know, like a hundred different curve LPs that you can boost returns on by staking the LP token here. So normally uh, with this LP, I would be earning the curve token and the LDO token by Lido, but I can earn more of the curve token, which is what's referred to here as the curve boost. I can earn more of that by using convex. Uh, and so I would normally come here, I would click deposit, approve it, which is one transaction, and then uh, deposit it slash stake it. So that's it. Um, I would be doing that, and then I would have to return to Convex to manually claim Curve, CVX, and LDO in the future. That's why I'm instead going to use Concentrator. So I've got the Steph LP token, and by using this, I'm going to allow Concentrator to auto claim those tokens on my behalf and then sell those for CVX curve, which if we go back to here, uh, you can see that, uh, so it says curve here, but it's actually CVX curve. Those that are, are holding CVX curve and staking it are earning about 40%. So that's extra yield on my yield that I would have not earned otherwise. You know, it allows me to earn that much more here, which is why instead of, uh, actually, let's go back to that. I was expected to earn something around 5.43 to 5.62% APR. I am instead earning 8.16% APY as of you know this recording. So I'm, I'm earning that much more by allowing myself to auto claim those rewards. Um, one thing to note, it's not fair to compare APY and APR, but just for the sake of simplicity here, um, the, the difference is enough here that that is clearly due to uh, uh, the magic of the auto claiming rewards and, and selling for CVX curve and staking that. So the last step of this is I'm gonna just click deposit. I'll put in 100% of this. Um, before I do this, uh, this is always really important to consider. What is the vault withdraw fee? So it's different on Concentrator. I think there's only eight of these available right now. Um, it, it depends on which one of these you click on. So if I click deposit here, the vault withdraw fee is 0.05% as well for Frax Curve. But let's try this one, 0.3%, there we go. So there are different fees. Uh, that is the fee that I will be incurring by by using Concentrator. Actually, let's just check the FAQs here if there was any other fees. Uh, there we go. Concentrator takes 1% of yields from all source vaults. So there is a performance fee. Um, half of this fee is directed to fund the harvesting function, which makes sense. For the auto compounding concentrator vault, a 5% fee is charged on all yields uh, with half of that funding going to the auto compounding function. So yeah, uh, worth noting those performance fees, which I'm normally not bothered by performance fees because you know it's I, I'm, I'm already earning extra yield. So it's, it's just taking a small portion of that. Uh, but the, the withdrawal fee is really important because if I, if I were to withdraw this a week later, you know, I'm losing, uh, I am losing 0.05%. So if I'm going to use Concentrator, I just want to make sure that I'm going to stick with it for some time uh, so that I don't regret the withdrawal fee. Okay, so uh, the last few steps here, let's go ahead and deposit. I'll put in 100% of the Steth Curve LP. I'm going to approve this because this is a token I have to give approval before depositing. So here I'm going to go ahead and consider again like what uh, uh, amount of gas I'm willing to pay. So I, I'm going to set this to like, let's say 1.2. So this is just the tip, max priority fee. But then the max fee is how much am I willing to pay in total, which I normally benchmark off of this. 
Let's refresh this. There we go. So I can clearly lower uh, the preset gas there. I'm going to set this again to like, let's say 1.2. And then this, I'm going to set it to a number higher than what I see here on the left, unless I'm willing to wait longer until gas prices come down. So let's put it at like, I don't know, 42, something like that. All right, so we're ready to confirm. Here we go. All right, there we go. My transaction confirmed. So now I'm ready to deposit. So we'll check this. I'm going to set this at 1.2. Now you can see here, I for, for my portfolio, this is a little bit smaller of a, of a deposit to be making, but I'm doing it as an example. Um, I probably will set this to, let's say, like 35. And you can see, like, this is going to cost me a lot because there, there's quite a bit going on under the hood to make this position uh, work within Concentrator. So just, you know, per usual, I, I'm always mindful of how much is that gas going to cost me? Is it worth me depositing into a position like this? For the sake of this example, I'm going to do it, but normally I would probably be putting in more money or I might skip out on this just because of the cost there. And then this is that number, the max fee. I'll set it to 38 here. And I'll hit confirm. And there we go. It just went through. So now I've got my position... Uh, deposited and so you can see my deposit here of 0.4825 so there's nothing else I need to do here at this point um, the one other thing I could be tracking in the future is if I had other uh, CVX curve from convex so I might have already been staking CVX curve I can uh, boost that yield as well but this, this would be from like previous uh, yield farms uh, that I had money in. Um, this is all I have to do is I can just leave this be then. I've got my deposit here. Uh, and again, it, it is as of now, it's earning about 8.16% APY, which is uh, based on, so the the base convex vault APR is currently about 5.22%. So that, that is the work that Convex normally does for me. Concentrator is boosting that by about 2.94%. And then that doesn't even include the fact that I, I also have 50% of that money. So about 0.25 ETH was uh, held as staked Ether, earning about 3.9% uh, APY. So that's added yield on top of it, which is all happening automatically under the hood. So I don't I don't need to do anything else here to uh, basically manage this position. In the future, if I wanted to, I can come back here and click withdraw, but I'm just gonna let this uh, continue to accrue yield. So that's it for today. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you find this helpful. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe at defidead.com, which will redirect you to my YouTube here. Uh, I've got all sorts of playlists like DeFi for Beginners to help you uh, get started in understanding uh, the basics of DeFi, but also tutorials to show you how to. And then if you are a builder, uh, please uh, consider getting in touch with me and my team at fourthrevolution.capital uh, if you're building the next great DeFi application, protocol, tool, whatever. Uh, we'd love to talk with you uh, about potentially partnering with you.